Even though, with all these prophecies, Israel, they were awaiting the coming of the Messiah. When he finally came, it was a sudden visit. He came in an unexpected manner. So when God is speaking about his, his coming as a thief, he's not just coming, he's not just talking about the suddenness or the unexpected uh, way in which he will come. He's also talking of the unexpected time, rather. He's also talking of the manner, the way in which he would come. When he came the first time, the Bible tells us that he was born in a manger. I'm sure they were expecting that he would be born in a palace. Indeed, we know that the wise men who came from the east, when they arrived, the first place they went to was to the palace. They had the star that was showing them where, but in all of their mind, even though the, the, the star was giving them the right direction, they, they still went with what was the paradigm. He would be born in a palace because he is a king. But it was not so. He was not born of kings. He was born of humble parentage. The parents were so poor that when they were doing the, uh, what do you call it now, the sacrifice that they normally bring when the child is born and that the mother would use for her cleansing, her purification, it was two doves. Doves were what God permitted the poor to use, which they could not, which they probably did not have uh, when they had, didn't have access to any more money. Not only that, when the Messiah, that's why they missed him. When the Messiah came, he was unlearned. He was unlearned because he did not attend their, their, their Bible school. He did, not, he did not attend their, uh, what do you call it now, their, their, their schools that taught, that taught the word of God. So that's why they kept asking him, by whose authority are you, are you speaking? We have, we have invested in attending Bible school, the schools of Gamaliel and the other uh, priests around. And you did not go to any school. They didn't expect him because he was unlearned. He did not go through any of their schools. To make matters worse, he was from Nazareth. The Bible says that they were asking, can anything good come from Nazareth? In fact, the Pharisees said, when did you know of any prophet coming from, arising from Nazareth? Nathaniel, that the Lord said, was an astute uh, 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 person in Israel. He said, can anything good come out of Nazareth? And then to make matters worse, the Bible tells us that when he was going to set up his mission post, it was in the midst of Gentiles. Nobody would have expected the Messiah of the Jews to set up his headquarters in Capernaum. They would have expected him to set it up in Jerusalem. So when the Lord came the first time, it was even as a thief in the night. They missed him completely because he came in a manner that they did not expect. 